In this tutorial, we're going to model uh, some kind of landscaping uh, design. Uh, this is actually a project I found online and I, uh, I found it quite interesting to show you how we can do this uh, in Rhino and how we can uh, basically use Grasshopper to help us with, with creating this kind of uh, wooden beams. So uh, we're going to start with just lofting this surface, creating the surface and then using Grasshopper to divide it in multiple parts. And then we're going to come back to Rhino and uh, uh, thicken, uh, thicken the, the lines. So uh, let's, uh, let's start. I actually here created already the definition, like it's very simple and small, but I wanted to show you a couple of different ways of how you can do this and um, the, the actual interesting uh, thing about surfacing and how you create the surface actually determines the way that uh, these lines turn out, turn, turned out later. So, so uh, before going there, let's, uh, let's create a second, uh, second surface. For example, I'm going to start with just creating some random, uh, random design here. And I'm going to like make it uh, a little bit different than this previous one just for the sake of the tutorial and uh, we're gonna adjust it as we go on if we if we don't like it and basically what I'm doing now here I'm just controlling the points here and trying to get the curves as I want them and uh, we actually would need to have two two kind of curves so this is the first one and now once we are happy with with the uh, shape uh, let's let's copy this guy we're gonna copy it in place I'm gonna actually move it a little bit away like so and I'm gonna press F10 again and I'm gonna connect these two so I'm gonna connect the top and the bottom and now I'm just going to play around and get uh, get the design uh, like I want it. So for example, sometimes you want to make maybe create these kind of effects here, the transitions and uh, it will look cool just like um, just like here in some places in these areas. So let's uh, let's just bring it. Yeah, why not? Okay, so you can see here the intersection here also there in this area and we can make this closer. Okay. So now let's go to the perspective and the next thing we want to do is actually bring this up because it has to, to have the height. So I will gradually actually increase the height. Let's increase these two. And decrease this one a little bit and this one as well. So we're actually trying to imitate this area here, like so it's, and this one. Once we're happy with this, yeah, let's bring this one up, why not? We have a different kind of feel. So once we're happy with this, there is multiple ways we can, we can approach this. So that's the reason why I wanted to show you uh, different, different ways. So because because it will determine how how the final result will turn out. So if you want to have, for example, if you want to have very straight uh, straight geometry, you would want to create a couple of these uh, perpendicular frames, and they will actually help you to create the correct the correct surface. However, if you're creating this with the different command with the wrong command, then it will you will have the different result. So what I mean by that, for example, if we play, let's say sweep two, and we select these two as rails, and now we start selecting these other ones as sections. Uh, this is what happens. So as you can see, the sweep two cannot, uh, cannot uh, close off this area because uh, that's that's how it's programmed. So 
uh, the only way to close this area would be to use separate command for sweep so for example we would need to split this guy I will just copy here to show you so if you want to close this off we would need to uh, I just trimmed it we would need to have a separate sweep too and have this one as a section and now like this I can bring it back and now I have it but this surface is divided it's in, in two halves now however if we use if you use a different command that is called a network surface and we select all of these guys I'll get everything ready you see so that's the difference between network surface and uh, sweep 2 uh, another way that we can do this is by using using a loft command so let's let's just create all of them here just for the sake tutorial so let's say this is loft let's say this is sweep 2 problem and this is network surface see that you can see the the problems here on the edges with sweep 2 with loft you don't see this problem but you see some other problem and that is the curvature here of the surface you see that the curvature is not following this this perpendicular uh, lines that we with, that we put so what does this mean this means when when we go to grasshopper and let me just resize the window here okay so so once we go to, once we go to the grasshopper and we say uh we say give me this surface uh this is the result that you will get so you will get let me just hide this the lines the lines are actually not following this perpendicular frame they're following the division of this of the of the curves so you can see here that it's very very steep at the end so that's that's what happens if you use uh if you use loft so i'm gonna bake this just for now just to to show you the the, the result later and let's move on uh, so I'm going to clear values here and let's see what happens if we do it on the network surface. This is what happens. So you can see that uh, network surface is actually following these lines and this is what we wanted. So there you can, you can actually see the difference there. You see how this area looks and how this area looks skewed. So depending on what kind of result you want, you can you can play with this. But I just wanted to show you uh, uh, the difference. And now uh, let's continue. So let's let's move on with the network surface one. And here I'll quickly explain you this de definition. I actually explained it a couple of times already in uh, previous tutorials. It's nothing fancy. It's just uh, taking the surface. Uh, using the isotrim command to subdivide the surface and using the domain to put it uh, to place the different divisions so here you can see there's uh, 750 of these divisions and uh, the other uh, direction is one and uh, then we just use the cal pattern to to take out the every second one and uh, once we are happy with how this turns out let's bake it let's group it and turn out the grasshopper so now uh the final thing here that we can that we can do is uh, we can do offset surface and now it's showing us the direction of the offset let's say 0.15 the last thing we can do here is going to the side view and as you can see it has this curvature here on the bottom and if you want to hide this the actual thing we would we would want to do is uh let's say that we want to cut it with some plane and let's let's select this rectangle there and we can simply uh we can simply increase the height of this and let's trim it 
I'm gonna go to this to the yeah let, let's actually do boolean difference let's select all of these and we subtract them with this box and the result will be a smooth clean uh, cut surfaces here so you can see here now they're they're straight and to finish off let's let's move it to the center so I just type 000 and enter and it's right there so yeah that's that's the final result I'll render this now and show you how it turned out so here is the landscaping render I uh, hope that you like it uh, if you have any questions or comments from me please write them down in the comment section below and uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos I'll uh, be happy to to listen and to create those tutorials for you so until the next time see you and take care